Hello guys, welcome back to the Spicy Sweet Design channel and today we're looking at another premium Bandai release that's probably not going to hit the USP Bandai store. I don't think Bluefin is going to do this one. So this is the uh, premium Bandai, P Bandai, Robot Spirits, uh, Gyokung Marine version anime figure. So anyway, uh, yeah, so basically it's just another recolor uh, coming out in uh, August 2021. Uh, Pre-order has already started. 79, uh, 20, 79, 7,920 yen. Okay, that's, uh, 79 US dollars. Assuming if you can get it from Japan. But, uh, yeah, if you're importing this, this is probably going to be over 100 bucks. Uh, the shipping and fees and whatever. Uh, the thing is, if Bluefin does it, I wish they would do it, but I don't think so. You can probably get it for around 85 bucks. I mean, I think they have done some Robot Spears figures in the past, but it just didn't do well, so I don't know if they want to continue doing it, especially for something this obscure. I mean, technically it's not, not obscure. This is a popular suit from 0083. It's a freaking grunt suit. But, uh, you know, uh, if they had to make a choice between the Zaku's and the uh, uh, the Galgu, yeah, Zaku's going to win because everybody knows what a Zaku is, not that many people. Uh, know what a Galgu is, especially nowadays with so many newbies in the hobby, everybody is just like, oh my god, Gunpla this, Gunpla that. Uh, the thing is with the Robot Spirits line, you know, there's this, uh, you know, if you don't have time to build Gunpla, these are perfect. Uh, for me, I work like, you know, like long hours and I have a family to take care of. Uh, I really don't have time for Gunpla. Uh, I have a lot of friends who are in the same boat, you know, when I got them into Gumpla, uh, they were the one hiring me to build their kids. Uh, nowadays, we don't have anybody. Well, no, we, we have newbies uh, that comes into uh, the hobby shop every once in a while, and we get them to build our model kits. <laughs> we work them like slaves and pay them nothing. It's like, oh, yeah, here's a kid. Here's a master grade. Build it for me. Uh, I'll tip you when I'm done. Of course, nobody's getting paid by the hour. It's like pay per kit. We don't care if you spend like 20 hours building our kit. He has 20 bucks. <laughs> That's basically one dollar an hour. Um, I'm not, I'm not an asshole like that. I haven't hired anybody to build my kits for me. Because uh, you know, for me, I believe building the gunpla. Uh, that's the point, you know, like, if I build a model kit, I want to, if I buy a model kit, I want to build, I want to enjoy the build process. Uh, I, if I want a, something that I can play around with, I'll just buy an action figure, right? And that's the same argument. I, I, I see a lot of people on this channel. Uh, I think most people still consider my channel a Gunpla channel because I have, like, overwhelming amount of Gunpla content. And people are always asking me, hey, you know what? Like, uh, what kit do you recommend that I get, uh, you know, if I want to pose it every day, uh, you know, and stuff like that. And I'm like, dude, no, you don't want to buy a model kit if you want to pose it every day. Polystyrene will break. It's not the most durable plastic there is. I have broken a lot of kits. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's high grade, real grade, master grade, they all break uh, because they're all made from polystyrene and ABS. Um, if you want something that you can play around with, pose it every day, buy a freaking action figure. End of story. So, yeah, I mean, there's so many options out there. I know they're a little bit expensive, but they're built for that purpose. You know, ABS and PVC, they're designed to be posed. Uh, you know, Bandai's not going to keep cranking out these figures, uh, you know, for if they, they constantly keep breaking. Uh, they, I think most of them are like very durable. I haven't broken any uh, robust spheres figure, but I have broken a lot of Gunpla, and that's just from posing. The Gunpla is definitely not super durable. I can be honest with you right now. So yeah, those of you guys who are into uh, you know posing this thing daily, if you actually think you want, you can play around with Gunpla, I can tell you, you're not. Uh, I mean, you could do that maybe for a while, uh, but it will eventually break. Uh, but with these things, uh, they're consider, uh, considerably more durable. So anyway, but then it's considerably more pricey, and then you don't get the enjoyment of building it. Uh, 
Yeah, but anyway, uh, I digress. Uh, basically, this one is just a recolor. The only thing that we're new that we're getting is probably the MP P uh, 80 machine gun right here. Uh, it doesn't come with the effect part for the machine gun, unfortunately. And then we got the uh, that shield, the knuckle shield. Those are new. I think the knuckle shield actually came from the Zaku one anyway. Single one, the Zaku one has it, and the the MP. Uh, MMP80, uh, the Dom has it. So this one, uh, yeah, dude, it's a straight up recolor. It's a P Bandai. That is really sucky, but whatever. Also, another thing, a lot of people like to uh, complain that, you know, how we're not getting HGUC Revive uh, Dom, HGUC Revive Galgu, and they're just constantly using the old mode. Well, if you don't like that, stop complaining just by the robot's face figure. You see has so much better articulation. Instead of waiting like another 10 to 15 years for Bandai to make uh, AC Revive Dolph or Galgook, uh, just buy the figure, man. They're in the same scale. They will work. And uh, another reason why like I complain about this is because uh, Bandai, when it comes to Gunpla, uh, they would rather spend their money uh, developing like 20 more Zakus, because Zakus are a lot more popular, you know, when it comes to Gunpla. Uh, they fly off the shelves, uh, versus stupid stuff like a Galgook and a Dom. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not going to happen. Like, a Galgook usually sticks around for a long time, because people don't know what it was. It's not featured very prominently in the series, because uh, it came very late during the original series, and the uh, uh, double 83 and the other series were like, you know, OVAs, so, yeah, people were like, what the hell is a Galgook? Yeah, you know, the Galgook is the uh, Zeon's equivalent to a freaking Gundam, that's what a Galgook is, you idiots. But anyway, that's just me ranting, personal opinion, totally subjective, uh, you know, uh, if you like Gunpla, just buy Gunpla. Uh, if, you, if you think this is a good idea, I definitely would consider getting into a robot spirit figure. If you're an older folks with, with like you know with other you know responsibilities. But anyway, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and end this video. Thanks for watching.